Hello everyone, this is Aniket. My roll number is 21MA10013. So in this DIY assignment 2, I made a soap dispenser and an hand dryer. So these are the basic components that we need. This is a general mechanical soap dispenser that we use. But in this uh, video, we'll be seeing that how to make an automatic soap dispenser that works based, based on the distance, based on an ultrasonic sensor. And this fan is used for drying a person's wet hat. Now, here we can see that the, this is the circuit diagram I've made. For making this, I've used the Tinkercad software. Now, let us look at the components in this circuit board. Firstly, the main component is the Arduino Uno board. Then I've used a breadboard, then two ultrasonic sensors, two DC motors, a servo motor. These two DC motors are used for drying the wet hand and these two ultrasonic sensors are used to control uh, the servo motor and uh, the DC motors respectively. First one controls the servo motor and the second one controls these two DC motors. So what is uh, ultrasonic sensor? Let us know about it in a brief. Uh, it is an instrument that measures the distance to an object using ultrasonic sound waves. An ultrasonic sensor uses transducer to send and receive ultrasonic pulses that relay back information about an object's proximity. Here you can see many wires. All the uh, black wires that we see here are connected to ground pin in this Arduino Uno board. You can see this is the ground and all the black wires are connected to ground. Next. All the red wires that we see here are connected to this 5 volt pin through breadboard. And all these green, yellow, orange colored wires are connected to digital pin. Digital pins in this Arduino Uno board. Now let us see which pin is connected to which component. Here the pin number 7 is connected to the ultrasonic sensor which controls the servo motor. Pin number 6 is connected to the servo motor. Pin number 5 is connected to the DC motors, both of them. And pin number 4 is connected to the ultrasonic sensor, which controls the DC motor. Now, now let us look at the code. Let us look at the block code. So initially, the servo pin 6 is set to 0 degrees. Then I have created two variables, distance for the servo pin ultrasonic sensor and distance 2 for the uh, DC motor ultrasonic sensor. So if distance 1 is less than or equal to 70 then the servo pin 6 is set to 90 degree. It will wait for 1 second and once we get out of this limit then it will come to 0 degree position. Now uh, this is for the DC motor. Initially the pin 5 is set to low position. Then the distance to variable uh, is read from the ultrasonic sensor at pin number 4. So if the distance to is less than or equal to 70, then pin 5 is set to high. Let us simulate our circuit. So I have started the simulation. This is the dispenser ultrasonic sensor. Let us bring this object near. Now you can see this servo pin turns. It turns by 90 degrees if the distance is less than. 70 centimeters and it is here less than 70 and once i uh, get it back far away from this it comes to its original position you can see the pulse in the oscilloscope in a similar way when we look at the drying uh, sensor so the distance is less than 70 now these two dc motors start to rotate and you can even have a look over the multimeter there is a change in potential difference across these two dc motors and these are uh, go far away from this uh, source so sensor then these dc motors stop thank you